Healthy ecosystems provide buffers against extreme weather conditions and disasters. They also bring multiple benefits to communities residing within them in the form of food, water, clean air, income and recreation. Strengthening the ecological infrastructure of a landscape by restoring forest cover and reintroducing biodiverse vegetation and cropping plays a vital role in building resilience to climate change, increasing biodiversity and enhancing local livelihoods. In Mindanao, the Philippines' second largest island, many upland farming communities face food insecurity due to soil erosion and depleted soil nutrients, which lead to low crop yields. In the upper reaches of the Mindanao River Basin, mean annual soil loss can be greater than 150 tons per hectare per year, with close to 50% of agricultural areas suffering a very high to very severe susceptibility to soil loss. At catchment level, soil loss is directly related to steep topography and soil types, aggravated by the decline in forest area caused by logging and agricultural expansion. In the absence of forest cover, and with frequent heavy typhoon rains, soil erosion, flash flooding and landslides are increasing. Degraded and poorly managed watersheds lead to water insecurity. More than 50% of the major watersheds are critically denuded, which means loss of water infiltration and slow recharging of water tables with implications for downstream water users. Drought is becoming a concern with the expansion and intensification of vegetable farming upstream and rice growing downstream. To help address these challenges, the Asian Development Bank, with support from the Government of Japan through the Japan Fund for Prosperous and Resilient Asia and the Pacific, is working with the Government of the Philippines Department of Environment and Natural Resources through the River Basin Control Office to strengthen local capacity in implementing innovative climate change adaptation measures through agroecological landscape restoration and restoring and managing climate resilient landscapes for food security. In collaboration with the International Center for Environmental Management, World Agroforestry, Land Care Foundation of the Philippines, and local farmers, five demonstration sites were set up in the Manapali watershed in the headwaters of the Mindanao River Basin to restore forests and encourage the adoption of ecological farming techniques. One demonstration site falls within the Mount Kitanglad Range National Park, a globally important biodiversity area which hosts over 600 rare and endemic species. Another site is within the park's buffer zone, while the three remaining sites are within agricultural areas. They all share degraded drainage corridors and land. Together with partners from national and local governments, private sector and farmers' organizations, the technical team has developed forest and landscape restoration plans for the sites. Farmers identified the challenges they are facing, including soil loss, infertile soil, the need for increasing use of agricultural chemicals, flooding, drought, and reducing crop productivity. Detailed participatory mapping sessions contributed to the design of the plans built on visions of what farmers wish to achieve on their lands. The aim was to restore ecological functions across the shared landscape by rehabilitating the natural drainage corridors, establishing vegetated buffer zones and promoting agroforestry. Local native plant nurseries were established and planting materials and seedlings were transported to the demonstration plots, where farmers were guided with technical support from the team in the preparation and planting of a diversity of tree species and crops. Mas important siya manamo ang amo ang garden kaysa sa kahoy kay ito manamo kakakuha ang among pangadlaw-adlaw pero na realize din ako nga sayop di ay siya mas okay din nga imo og yung atimanon ang kahoy kung mahimo pa magtanom ka kay makatabang ni dili ra sa ako akong dili sa ako apang anak ug sa mahimo pa nilang anak tuhod
Species and planting regimes followed the restoration plans, which were designed to enhance livelihoods while achieving gains in biodiversity and building resilience to climate-related hazards. Buffer zones along drainage corridors and on edges of agricultural plots are reducing soil loss, increasing local water supply, improving plant diversity and halting encroachment on natural forest. The farm restoration promotes the adoption of native species and nature-based solutions and diverse organic cropping. The team conducted field assessments and monitoring to follow the growth and survival of seedlings and changes in site conditions. As of May 2023, over 2,300 native seedlings were planted in the five demonstration plots, particularly along their boundaries and drainage corridors. The farmers are being supported in planting a variety of vulnerable native trees interspersed with fruit trees, mixed vegetables, root crops and legumes to increase the diversity of species in the area. As most farms are on steeply sloping land, the project is assisting in constructing natural vegetative strips for contour planting. ISEM's hydrological modelling of the Manupali watershed has shown that downstream hydropower and irrigation reservoirs are suffering from significant sedimentation due to forest loss and erosion in the headwaters. The project has defined a strategy for the expansion of the restoration work across the Manupali watershed for effective flood management, sedimentation control and water security. Plants and programs policies of uh, national government agencies, including local government units, must be synchronized, harmonized, uh, and even integrated. The aim is to expand the network of demonstration farms involved in this process with the on-site benefits of reducing soil loss and nutrients, and the adoption of resilient and profitable ecological farming techniques. This requires policy and institutional support at the local government level for co-investment and co-management. Formal creation for the Manupali Watershed Management Committee is underway. The committee is a multi-stakeholder body that will oversee the protection and sustainable use of the Manupali Watershed amid increasing demands on biodiversity, water, productive lands and food. An integrated investment program for training and scaling of the innovative techniques and restoration approaches is recommended, expanding the work to forests and agricultural landscapes across the headwaters of the Mindanao River Basin.